What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto the ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are rocking out with a Trevenant Trick Room team that features Ice Rider Calyrex and the Torkoal and Venusaur combo. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel or just not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Seriously, we have tons of new content coming on the way, considering we have Series 11 for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which you guys already know your boy is going to be crushing that. And then we got the Diamond and Pearl remakes alongside with Legends Arceus that we're going to be doing guides with, playthroughs, and everything there is about those games. But this team right here was actually sent in by a fan, but I realized it was actually made by Mount Cornet BGC, which is another YouTube channel that does Pokemon content. So yo, Mount Cornet, shout out to you. Thank you so much for making this team and thank you so much for allowing me to use it. I will be leaving a link to his channel down in the description below. So definitely go check it out. But getting started with this team in that top left corner, we have the one and only Trevenant. I love this Pokemon so much. I just think it's a very cool typing with the Ghost and Grass and he's definitely a lot of fun to use. He has the Frisk ability and the Power Bracer as its item. And if you guys don't know what this item does, it just lowers your speed when you're in battle. So it's going to work very, very well, especially when we are in the Trick Room. This thing has a moveset of Trick Room, Forest Curse, Horn Leech, and Sunny Day. And let me go over his moveset one more time because you guys might not know what Forest Curse does. So, if you guys all know what it does, it changes any opposing Pokemon's typing to Grass. So, that's going to pair super well if we're in Trick Room with our Calyrex because Glacial Lance will be super effective. And same thing with our Torkoal, our two powerhouse Trick Room Pokemons. Fire will be super effective to Grass and we'll be able to change any typing there and just roll out strong from there. And right next to him, we have Landers on the team with Sheer Force and the Choice Scarf as item. We got Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Psychic, and Grass Knot. Great coverage moveset with one big stab move, which is Earth Power. Middle left is going to be the heart and soul of this team. It's going to be that Ice Rider Calyrex, absolute beast of a Pokemon. It can set up Trick Room, it can hit hard with Glacial Lance or High Horsepower, then it has Protect as its final move. As one ability as always, and then the Lumberry as its item so we don't get no status conditions onto this Pokemon. Right next to him is Torkoal, and Torkoal is an absolute beast, especially in the sun. So we have two ways of setting the sun with this team. We have the sunny day with the Trevenant, and then we have the Torkoal Drought ability, which is awesome. It's definitely going to pair well with that Venusaur, considering we can double speed in the, in the Drought. But back to Torkoal over here, he has the Charcoal as his item, and then that normal amazing moveset for him with Eruption, Flamethrower, Earth Power, and Protect. Bottom left corner... Incineroar. I'm done talking about the Pokemon. It's there. If you guys want to check out its moveset, it's right there. Everything is right there. Just look at that bottom left corner if you want to check it out. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be Venusaur, like I said. He's going to be able to pair well with the Torkoal and just be out there during the sunny day or the uh, drought, whatever you want to call it, and just be able to control the battle and get some big KOs. He's got the Chlorophyll, doubles his speed in the drought, Focus Sash as his item, and then we got Sleep Powder, Sludge Bomb, Energy Ball, and Protect for its moveset. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Trevenant Trick Room team. Let's get started, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle for today's video, and I'm very excited. I don't know why, this team's just looking a lot of fun to play with. We're going up against a Necrozma team, Lunal form, or like the Dust form, alongside with uh, Incineroar, Urshifu, Tapu Fini, Storm Drain, Gastron, and Regilecki. So his team's looking pretty good. It seems looking pretty strong, some decently strong meta Pokemon, but the Necrozma I'm a little scared of because I don't really know what it does that much. Uh, I definitely want to try to get off Trick Room here. I don't, I don't see him being a Trick Room team. He might, I don't think he has Imprison Trick on that. He definitely could be rocking tri uh, Trick Room on Necrozma, but I gotta watch out for that. I might lead Incineroar. I might go Fake Out into Calyrex to Trick Room, and then just kind of roll out from there and bring Trevenant in the back end. And then I think Final Pokemon, hmm, for Final Pokemon, I'm thinking Choice Scarf Landers. Because a speedy Pokemon like him coming in the back end after Trick Room ends could be really beneficial for the team. Uh, Torkoal could be good, but we don't really need Torkoal. I just feel like Weather Control isn't going to do anything for us. But I think it's I think Landorus is our call. I think Landorus is our call, and we'll keep Venusaur in the back end because uh, we don't need him. We don't need Venusaur. We don't want him. We don't need him here. But guys, let me know down in the comment section down below for question of the day. What Pokemon do you guys think we're going to see more of in Series 11? Considering when Series 10 came out, they took away Dynamax, so we stopped seeing Pokemon like Duraludon, Weakness Policy Pokemon like uh, Tyranitar, Dragapult, we haven't been seeing a lot. Same thing with Tokus. So let me know when Dynamax comes back for Series 11. What Pokemon do you guys think we're going to see more of? But he ends up leading the Incineroar alongside with the, uh, with the Tapu Fini. The Finsters. The lovely Tapu Fini. The lovely Fini. And then we got our combo going in with the Incineroar and the Kalanick. So, I just think we fake out. We pop an easy trick room. We get rolling out from there. That Buttery Biscuit hits us with that Intimidate. You son of a gun. The Sea Surge is popping. 
And in this case, I'm thinking of just faking out. And, well, obviously faking out and going for Krikrim. And then maybe just swapping next turn, but we'll see. We'll see. The Intimidate definitely came up big for him. Uh, hmm. Hmm, what's Gene's one doing here? They definitely, definitely the fake out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's fake out him so he can't fake out us. And then we just pop this trick. I still think this Pokemon is super strong, especially when it is minus one. And if we get off a high horsepower, we can do a decent amount of damage onto his Incineroar. Let's see what happens. He's going to end up hard swapping to the top of Finny, and he's going to go into... He's going to throw out Gastrodon. So he really wants Gastrodon out here for sheer fact of... Oh, no way. No way he gets a fake out first. No way. Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face. Okay, so he does that. Uh, hmm. I could protect and just snarl and start dropping that thing's attack. Hmm. What do I want to do here? This one's so tough. I might hard swap. Knowing he's going into a ground move. I think I might do that. And just snarl. And just start snarling. Knowing he's going to go into a ground move, I just think the play here is going to be swapping into our landers. And using our choice scarf early and trying to get off Trick Room later in the match. Gonna be a good battle. He's he's gotta be going for an EP here, right? He's gotta be going for an EP. But the real question is on who? I, I would I would think he would be targeting down my uh Kalinx, right? I would think that, right? He's gonna U-turn pivot. He pivots out. That's fine by me. And an Earth Power has got to come out. Alright, Earth Power has got to come out. So we probably actually could have gotten off for Trick Room. I just thought he was gonna flare blitz and and or maybe going into an earth power. So I was sitting there, I was like, maybe we should just swap and go from there. So hopefully he throws out a special attack here for our lovely little snarl. He's gonna end up sending out. Top of Finny comes back out. Beautiful. You'd love to see it. We'd love to see this. Snarl comes out, we get the special attack drop on two special attackers. That's big news. That's big news for us. Okay, right, so we're sitting here. Water is not our friend right now. <laughs> Water is definitely not our friend. I th and of course he goes for a Muddy Water. I totally thought he was going to go for an Earth Power into my Calyrex. Muddy Water comes out here. We're able to eat up all day. Uh, I think we just Snarl again and we just start trying to attack. Of course he gets the Act Drop. But let's just Snarl up again and then kind of just uh, hit Sludge Bomb. I think Sludge Bomb is going to be play call. Lovely little Sludge Bomb. I do love me some Sludge Bomb. I'm going to send it. I'm going to Choice Scarf into that. We're going to get the speed rolling here. And snarl, be able to Snarl up again. And then he probably just takes out my Landorus. Which is totally fine. He ends up eating a Citrus Berry. But if we can get these guys down to minus two on special attacking. I just think we're totally thriving here. Even if my Landers goes down. Because then I can be able to set up Trick Room. He still has Intimidate ready to rock. But I just think we're fine. I think we're fine. I, th I seriously do. So our second Snarl is going to come out here. We should be able to eat up all day. I could hard swap my, uh, my Incineroar this next turn. Which I might do. I might just go for the Trick Room pop. Yeah, I think we should go for the Trick Room Pop into the, what's called, into the Hard Swap. That shouldn't take us out. Yeah, Incineroar is able to eat up all day, and we should be thriving here. So let's go, do I go Trevenant here? For the Trick Room, I think Trevenant could be really good for the Trick Room here. Over Calyrex. Yeah, he's going to be able to soak up a lot more shots. So let's go into him, pop ourselves a Trick Room, and then Hard Swap our Incineroar. Because I wish we had, like, Parting Shot or something. But we'll, we'll just Hard Swap any... To be able to get our fake out back. We have to play this one super, super slow. We really did. So let's hard swap into Calyrex here. And then just pop a nice, lovely trip in here. And then if he does, I mean, he's probably going to have to come in with that Incineroar later. Which is tough. Which is tough. Because then he's going to have to get off that Intimidate on me. Hmm. But Trick Room's really going to be thriving for us. It really is. Because Horn Leech can just do a lot of damage on both these Pokemon. And then he has the Incineroar, which we can high horsepower, but like I said, dude, the Intimidate is going to do me dirty. It's going to do me dirty here. Uh, Unnerve, nobody can eat berries anymore. Take your berries away. He's going to hard swap an Incineroar, I think. That is play. That's tough, dude. That is so tough. We should have swapped our Calyrex a turn earlier. We should have swapped him a turn earlier. So, we're rocking out here. He's definitely going to fake out Calyrex, and that's when we swap him. Muddy Water's going to fly through here. That's easy eats all day. That is easy eats all day, baby. My squad's eating that up. Tasty little snack. Tasty little snack. Trick Room is popping. Okay. So now that we're sitting here, and Cinnor is a pain in the neck. And Cinnor is a pain in the neck. I could go into a high horsepower. I could hard swap. I just want to go into a high horsepower just in case he doesn't fake out here. Then I could just Horn Leech. That's going to be my play. 
That is my plan. We definitely have speed. But again, I think he's going to fake out. I wanted to swap, but... But the thing is, if we swap, we're not going to be able to take out a... Uh... I'm not going to be able to take out Incineroar. I'm going to say maybe he doesn't go for the fake out. Maybe he thinks we're protecting something along those lines. And maybe we get off this high horsepower and roll from there. Fake out does come through. Okay, so fake out ends up coming through here. Gets a crit. Of course he gets a crit on the fake out, man. One leech is fly, flying through here. It's minus one, but still. Picking out a nice chunk. We'll go back to full HP. Gotta love it. And I, we just need to be able to swap these Pokemon out. So I can definitely see a Flare Blitz flying through here. Nature's Man is, ooh, Nature's Man is coming in hot, dude. Coming in hot. Okay. Uh, what's the play here? What is the play? What's the play here? Uh, could protect. Could go into a high horsepower. Hmm. Super tough. Could go into Glacial Lands, but it's not going to do a lot. No problem. That's my problem. I'm trying to think. Could go for the hard swap here into you. Well, you know what? We'll hard swap next turn. We're going to protect you and just go into a, yet another Horn Leech. This is a good battle. This is a really good battle. A really good battle. I'm definitely in my Calyrex. We're going to swap him next turn. Definitely going to swap him next turn. Hopefully, a Flare Blitz is flying through onto Calyrex. Horn Leech flies through. This is not going to be able to pick up KO. Super close, though. Super, super close. And show me Flare Blitz is doing. Show me Flare Blitz is flying through there. Show me Flare Blitz is going to the Calyrex. We definitely need that. I need my Shrevenant in just to be eaten up here. So we're able to eat all day. And he goes for Flare Blitz. It is into my Calyrex line. The Calyrex is able to eat up. Uh, in this case, he's going to go into another Flare Blitz. So we're just going to hard swap my Calyrex back to Incineroar. Get that Intimidate. We should be able to eat. And then go into here. How many turns left in Trick Room? That's my thing. We have two turns left in Trick Room. Two of them. Dose. Another Horn Leech flying through. A must. It's a must. It is an absolute must. There comes my hard swap. Yeah, this, is gonna, this is gonna be tough. If we win this battle, that'd be pretty nutty. That'd be pretty nutty if we can win this battle. Let's see. Intimidate popping. Intimidate is popping. And again, I think he's going for another floor. But he's gonna swap his incinerator. Okay, I like that turn. I don't mind it. He's gonna swap into Gastron, maybe? Okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. Horn Leech flies through. And we're going to be able to take you out. Okay, so there's the KO onto that. Uh, we have one more turn left in Trick Room. I know a nice Horn Leech can do big damage on the Gastronaut. So I am going to fake out whatever Pokemon he throws in on the right side. And I am going to Horn Leech over onto the Gastron side. You know, I think Gastron may protect. He's going to go back into Incineroar. If he does, I might just swap it to my Calyrex. Oh, he goes to Necrozma. He shows his final Pokemon. And hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The darkest layer. I could snarl. Snarl could be a good play. But I think fake out is definitely going to be the turn here. Hmm. Fake out in the horn leech. Let's do it. Hopefully he doesn't protect. He might protect. Let's see. We does not. That's wonderful. Okay, so chipping away on the U. That's some decent damage. And horn leech should be able to pick up the KO here. Four times super effective. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. So we're slowly coming back. His final Pokemon is going to be Incineroar. Which he's going to be forced to throw out here. Hopefully he doesn't take out my Incineroar here. He's going to go for a Moongeist Beam. Ooh. Moongeist Beam coming in hot. It's coming in hot here. Let's say eat this up all day, Trevenant. Nope, Trevenant goes down. Trevenant goes down. Okay, so Twisted Dimension actually That might be in our favor here. That might be in our favor here. Because we might need a Dark Slayer. Actually, no. We're not going to be able to. We're going to be minus one on each side. Wow. We're going to lose this battle, man. guys Beam coming in hot. Came in hot at the perfect time. So he comes in with Incineroar. We're, we're minus one on each side. We are minus one on each side. So he's going to be faking out here. You know that for a fact. He's going to be faking out. But the question is, who is he going to fake out? I have to guess Calyrex. So I'm thinking we just protect him and try to go into a Dark Slayer. Maybe get a crit. Maybe do some big damage over onto this Pokemon. Let's see how we can play this one. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. Hopefully, hopefully he targets down my Calyrex. This is like our last chance here. We need him faking out on my Calyrex. We need him doubling down on them. We need to start getting off some damage here. Fake out comes into Incineroar. Man, dude! Come on, leave me alone! 
Meteor Beam comes through here, and he's charged that up. Go after Calyx. I need him to go after Calyx. <laughs> go after Calyx, please. The Meteor Beam flying through here. Come on, yo. Go after Calyx. Yes! Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. So he is saying there is a chance here. All right. At this point, we Dark Slayer it, and we just go into, like, a high horsepower. Or Glacial Lance. What's our play here? I mean, ah, uh, so tough. This is so tough. We're just going to have to go into a high, high horsepower here. We are minus one on each side, and it is not looking good for us. The real question is, who's going to go first here? My Incineroar or his Incineroar? I would love to get a crit here. And his Incineroar, of course, goes first. He's going to Flare Blitz and take out my Calyrex. Or he goes after Incineroar. Oh, and Incineroar really goes down to that. If Incineroar was able to eat, we could have been having a fighting chance there. But that's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. His Necrozma was going to go. He's going to take us out. Yo, solid first battle. Definitely long and drawn out. We ended up losing here. But I think it was a good battle all around. We're going to be hopping into our second right after we died to that thing. Because that thing's an absolute beast. But we're going to be hopping into our second. And we're going to be looking for our first win for today's video. Ended up losing our first battle, but it's all good. I still feel like we played decently well. It was just like our Calyrex's typing wasn't really going our way. We were going up against a Tapu Fini, a Gastron, and an Incineroar. Meaning our Glacial Lance is not very effective on all of them. Kind of screwing us over for that battle. But hey, we're hopping into our second battle here. Looking for our first victory. Going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside our Urshifu, Cinderace, Mamoswine, Togekiss, and Whimscott for that tail. I definitely want to set up Trick Room. Definitely want to set up Trick Room. I could easily just go into Turkle and Beatus for combo and pretty much just wipe out this guy, but we're trying to have some fun here. We're trying to have some fun. So I'm thinking just going in Cinemor turn one, just so we can have that fake out. And then Calyrex or Trevenant? Calyrex or Trevenant? I think Trevenant would be the better option here. Actually, I don't know. Let's, Let's go Calyrex for a Trick Room. I'm liking that. Bring Trevenant in the back end, and then I think we're going to give the same squad another chance here. We're going to give the same squad another chance. We're going to go in with the exact same squad, roll out with that, and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But this dude's team is really, really cool. He does have the Mammoth Swine, which, which I don't like, which I think he might lead. He might lead the Mammoth Swine, because it does have Oblivious, so uh, the Intimidate will not do anything to it. But still, I think I think we should be driving here. As long as we can get off this Shurken, we'll be golden. He goes in with Urshfruit and Wimscott, so he could taunt me. He could taunt me. Uh, who do I fake out, though? That is the real question. Who do I fake out? Who do I fake out? That is Water Urshifu. That is Water Urshifu, so I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Who do I, I don't know who I should fake out. I think I might fake out onto Urshifu. And then just set up a trick room. Hopefully he's not rocking tall. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say he's not rocking tall in this room, Scott. I'm going to say he's not rocket tall onto this Pokemon. And we're going to fake out onto the Urshi Ursh. The Urshi Ursh. I'm really hoping he goes for a Tailwind. <laughs> Just goes to Tailwind and tries to dump all my Calyrex. But I, I don't see that happening. I, I just don't see him rocket tall in here. I really don't. There's a lot of Whimscots nowadays aren't really aren't really thriving with the taunt. At least one, especially with this team here. He's just not having it. So fake out, we get the flinch, and he's gonna tell him. Beautiful. Mwah. Beautiful turn by us, yo. Beautiful. Loving it. Loving it. Great call by me. Great call by me. We're able to do this. And now we can just start teen off. We just start teen off, oh, honestly. Uh, I think I might just do I double down into Urshfu. I think I might just snarl. Just to take off a sash. But um no, we have to mm, what do I do? I definitely want to take out one Scott here. But I would I definitely gotta go for a glacial lance. Because I, I think this thing could be, potentially be Sash. I might I might just snarl, just to take that thing out. I am going I am going to snarl, just to take that thing out, just in case he's not uh Actually I'd rather go into like say like a Darkest Slayer. In that case. So we're gonna Darkest Slayer here and then we're just gonna go into Glacial Lance. That's definitely our play. That is definitely our play. 100%. Glacial Lance pops out here. Hopefully he's not Sash, because if he's not, then we get that plus one. So we are hoping here. Let's do it. No Sash. It is Sash. God dang it. That thing is Sash. And best part about this is, Incineroar is going to be able to take out you, no problem. But our other problem is going to be with this uh, with this Urshifu coming in hot. I mean, I, I actually want him to go into a certain strike to take out Incineroar. 
This is in close combat. That's tough news. We still eat up though all day. We still eat up all day because of that minus one. And we and we were eating up regardless. We we're just soaking that one up. Okay, so we're sitting here. We're sitting in a really good position here. But the reason I wanted him to go on certain strikes is so we can bring out our uh our what's it called? Just so we can bring out our boy uh what is that guy's name? I can't even think of it. Trevenant. I want to bring out Trevenant. But I might hard swap in Trevenant here. Just thinking. And just protecting Calyrex. That might be our player. I can definitely see him going into say like a certain strikes. If I could protect here and say that the uh, the Urshfu is going after my Incineroar. Because I think Urshfu is going after Incineroar with a certain strike, so we should be able to eat that one up. And then uh, Cinerace is going to come across my Calyrex. But I think this is going to be the play, and then we just change the typing of the Cinerace into like grass and we just dump on it. <laughs> or I could just, uh, the, if he changed typings, be nice. Well, we reveal the life orb from the Cinderace. We're gonna protect the Calyrex and see how this turn plays out here. There's the Surge of Strikes. So far, so good. So far, so good with the reeds, man. See, easy eats all day. He gets the crits, so the minus one don't matter, but Trevenant is just soaking up the shots. And I get all my HP back if I really want to. Let's see what he goes into from here. He's gonna end up going into a Pyro Ball and it's blocked. Yo, look at that read. That read was phenomenal. That read was phenomenal. So, in this case, we are just going to pop a Forest Curse and finish off the Cinderace. I'm going to say bye-bye, Cinderace. Actually, will that still take out Cinderace? Hmm. And it puts it to normal. I could just do this. Instead of changing it to a Forest Curse, I think we just go in with the Horn Leech. And then just with the High Horsepower. would probably be our better turn. Because if we use a Forest Cursor, he is still... He's going to be Grass and Fire. So then, it's not going to be super effective. But I do like this turn that we just did. We just Horn Leech up on the Urge food. Dude, I love Horn Leech, man. Horn Leech with Trevenant is so good. Get all the HP back, soak it up. And I think this High Horsepower should be able to take it, this thing out. Seems super squishy. Get him out of here. Get him out of my game, yo. Get him out of my face, yo. We don't need him here. The guy's trash. He stinks. He stinks. Not the guy, not the guy. I don't like to talk about people. But the guy, Cinderace, is that's what I'm talking about. Cinderace, he's trash. Get him out of my game. <laughs> we get rid of him, but yo, that read with swapping into the Trevenant, calling the Surge of Strikes, and calling that Protect onto the Calyrex, yo, that was top tier. That was top tier. He brings out his final Pokemon, which is just going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex. And our team stack, we have every single Pokemon left. We gave the squad another chance, and it's looking perfect for us. Are we going to get this uh, sweep here? A little 4 0 action here? I think we do have speed all day. That should be GG's. That should be GG's. Cancel the battle. He does not cancel the battle. He wants his Calyrex to die. He wants his Calyrex to die. There's some nice hearty damage from a tree. Is this thing a tree or is it like a plant bush? I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's a, it's a type of type of grass thing. But there we go. Glacial Land should be able to finish this one off. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. The clean sweep. 4-0. On this battle which is awesome one and one sitting on the video we're hopping into our third and final and looking for that winning record for you guys third and final battle coming at you guys we're looking for that winning record going up against a ground on team that also features placephalon so we definitely got to watch out for that mind balloon it also has that charm with that sun gift and then he has the roll boom incinor and galarian wheezing as his final three pokemon but yo we're gonna get ripping in here we are definitely i actually don't even have to bring Tor. i'm thinking i just Actually, mm, yeah, let's bring Torkoal. Let's just bring Torkoal because he's just going to be able to thrive in this drought. Torkoal and Venusaur could do really, really well here. So I'm going to lead both these guys here. We have the speed. I definitely want to bring Landers. And then I think final Pokemon got to be in Cinderella. I just say we keep the Trick Room Pokemon out of this one and we just try to completely dominate this battle. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Let's hop into this third and final battle. But, yo, that last battle, that was perfection. That was perfection. We set up the Trick Room very, very nicely and we made the perfect swaps. We made the perfect spot swaps in order to give us that upper edge in that battle. I swapped the, uh, what was it, Incineroar into the Trevenant, knowing he's going for that Surgeon Strikes. And then I protected that Calyrex at the perfect time, knowing that that Cinderace was going to come across. And everything just worked out perfectly after that. We were able to take out the cat or the Cinderace with the, the high horsepower. And then we were able to take out the Urshfu with the Horn Leech, which, just, which it was just over after that. After that, it was just, it was just perfect. It was just perfect, but... Like I said, we got to grab ourselves this winning record with this Trevenant team. We're having so much fun with it. I think it's a very cool team, and it's definitely not the strongest team. 
but it's a lot of fun to use on the rank ladder. It is definitely a lot of fun on the rank ladder. But if you guys are looking for a team to really push high rank high ranks with, I made a video on the Evolta team yesterday, the video before this one, so definitely go check that out if you want a team to push high ranks with. It's a very strong Evolta team, so definitely check it out and uh, give it a like while you're over there. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go in with Venusaur and Torkoal. He's going to go Bocephalon alongside with Groudon. And in this case, uh, do I just erupt? I could just erupt. Erupt could be really good here. I could just go for an energy ball. I like that, but Cephalon stuff is scaring me. I might just put him to sleep. I'm just gonna put him to sleep. I'm just gonna say, hey, can you can you go to bed, with Cephalon? I really don't want this thing mind blowing, just taking me out. The Groudon's definitely scary because he has blades, which can take out my Torkoal. So maybe I just should have protected my Torkoal. But we'll see what this guy does. We'll see what this guy does. The Venusaur Torkoal combo is just super super strong because you outspeed basically everything. You you have the you have the power to attack first. You have the power to put a Pokemon to sleep first. Like it's just super super. And then if you can keep the Torkoal alive, which I don't think we're going to be able to do this turn. But oh, we actually might. We actually might. This could be lovely. I think he's going for Mind Bloom. Sleep Powder comes through. And we miss. And we miss! We miss, dude. That is so rough. That is so rough. We miss. We were setting up for perfection. We were setting up for perfection there. And we end up missing. That is so rough. Probably just should have went to an EP, but uh mm. <clears throat> I think I just protect here. I think our Venusaur will eventually go down. Um I could hard swap in the Oh, I could hard swap in the lane though. What do I think he's gonna go for? What do I think he's gonna go for? That's the real question. I do think he's gonna go for a Blades. The protecting Torkoal is good. I think Blades is coming out from the uh, Groudon. I think hard swapping the Venusaur could be really, really good here. Actually, we could use our Sash. We're just gonna go for an Energy Ball over on this thing. We're gonna be asleep anyway. Let's see. Let's see his play here. Let's see his use play. We might swap next turn, depending if if he goes for a Blades. That means he's gonna go for a Blades again in the next turn. So we'll see what happens here. He goes for a Heat Wing. Oh, that's what the Blissephalon. That's Blissephalon going in with the Heat Wave. So our Sash is going to trigger here. I think Blade just take us out. That's tough. That's tough news. Alright, let's see what happens from here. Blades do come out. So there's the Blades right there. Uh, I could bring out Incineroar. I could bring out Incineroar, which could be really, really well here. I think that is going to be the play. So we, he shows he's orbed. Um, hmm. We're sitting in a hole here, considering our Sleep Powder missed turn one and he got a Hypnosis off. Because, dude, just think of where we would have been sitting there. We'd been, we would have been thriving. We would have been thriving. Um, I could go into Incineroar here, or I could go into Choice Scarf Lando, but I do think Incineroar is the call here. Where do we do? We could just go into Lando. But the reason I'm saying Incineroar, I think, is the call here is because I can fake out the Groudon and get off an Eruption. And if I get off a heavy Eruption, that could be wonderful for the squad. That could be wonderful. We might just protect the Groudon again. But we'll see. We shall see. Let's do it. Let's go for that eruption. Popping out here. And then just faking out on people. Yep. Let's just fake out the Groudon. That is our play. I think he's going to protect Groudon again. Just like he did in the first turn. Knowing that Blacephalon can't be faked out because he's ghost typing. He's like predicting or he's knowing that he's just going to we're just going to go into it. He fake oh, he protects the Blacephalon. Or is he going with both? He goes with both. So he goes with both there, which I guess that's okay. I mean, I guess it's alright. Um, hmm. What's the call here? What's the call here? I don't like this. I don't like this because Blades is just going to rip me. Blades is just going to rip me. But in this case, we could just go here. We could protect you. And then just hard swap. We're trying to win this one. I I'm trying to win this one here. We gotta hard swap here. Have to hard swap. We have to swap. Oh, he swaps too. Okay, I like it. I dig it. Blades is definitely coming out here. Blades is definitely coming out here. We know that for a fact. We know that for a fact. This thing's gonna drop a little bit of flower gift action. Gifting up on the flowers. And we all swap. We go swap. Lander's gonna pop. We're gonna be able to dodge his blades and protect the other side. Right? Bla Blades is a must. Blades is, it was an absolute must. He's definitely going into Blades. Knowing we have Instant War and Torque on the field. There it is. Beautiful. Blades with the block, and he's going to miss my lane. Go. 
Making some good reads today, but yo, we've been we're sitting in a hole right now. Kind of like definitely want to try to get. Mm. I mean, I'm trying to figure out what what I can do here. I mean, he's gonna hit me with blade, so that's gonna do a lot of damage. Could go grass knight, could go sludge bomb. Grass knight might be the play. Heavier target wastes a greater the power, so we're gonna go with this for a choice card from you. And try to swap him out after we get off a hard hit with this. Hmm. We know we outspeed. Let's see. Let's see the play. I think drop kind of might end soon. Might end soon. It's just such a good battle. It's a great battle. Even though we should just be dominating him at this point. Don't much all the ground on. A smart little play by him, and he's gonna go out into who? Cephalon maybe? Now he's gonna bring out Incineroar. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I mean, I have to swap. I have to swap out my. Uh, I 100% have to swap out my Pokemon now. My Landorus. Okay. I'm cool with that, because I, I can't do anything with this Grass Knot. Can't do anything with this Grass Knot. Just slowly chip some damage on this thing. And then Fake Out can come out. Uh, but what do I do? What do I do? Sunlight does fade. It fades hard, man. It fades hard. Well, I would get this going, though. I think he swapped just to get the, uh, the drop back rolling. I think we just fight and we drop a we drop an eruption here. And then we hard swap. Back into Incineroar. Get off the Intimidate onto his Incineroar. We kind of roll from there. Alright, let's make things happen. Let's make things happen. Let's make things happen. Dude, I'm still upset on that, yo. Our sleep powder really just missed. It really just missed like that. Like, come on, man. Missed early on. He got the hypnosis. Because, dude, if you think about it, that thing would have been asleep. We hit off a nice big eruption dealing a decent amount of damage to that thing. And in that case, I could just put the ground on the sleep next turn or hit him with a nice big energy ball. I'm good thriving. I probably would have put him to sleep, went with the double sleep, and then rolled out from there. And probably just sent another eruption, taking out the full seven line. There was some big damage onto the ground on it as well, considering he's not fire type. He's not a fire type Pokemon. But now we're in a hole. Now we are in a hole, and we're trying to get out of it. We're trying to get out of it for you guys. But I really want this winning record, but hey, I don't know how it's looking. I don't know how it's looking right now. He's gonna withdraw the Cherum. Oh, Alright, say less. And he's gonna go into Blacephalon. Hopefully he's faking out all the mines. Cinnamore. Let's see, make it happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'd love to see that. We'd love to see that. So eruption's gonna pop. Blacephalon's dead. Get him out of my face, dude. Get Blacephalon out of my face. And we do a decent amount of damage overall onto the Cinnamore. And now we have fake out ready to roll. We have fake out ready to roll. Which I dig. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking he, he protects the ground on, right? I'm thinking he protects the ground on. Do we make that read? Or do I fake out onto it anyway? And just EP across. So I can EP here and finish you off. I can EP here and finish you off. Or do we think he might swap into Charm? I don't, I don't think he swaps into Charm. Thinking I'm going for a fire move. I just don't see him swapping into Charm here. But I say we definitely fake out on the ground on just in case just in case he ends up not going for it. The protect. I just think it's the play. I just think it's the play. But if he protects and then swaps into Cherim on Incineroar, that would be tough news for us. That would be tough news to go. What a third and final battle. What a great battle. I always like like I obviously I hate missing my sleep patterns like that, but I always like being like in a bad position. Because it makes me a better player. It makes me actually play the game a little bit better. But good thing we did fake out there. Made the right call there. Fake out, get the flinch. And he's got a parting shot. You son of a biscuit, man. Should have dropped that eruption. I should have just... Mm, mm, should have just dropped that eruption. Surpri I'm super surprised he went in that. Um, I think Blades is his call, right? Like He's got to go for a Blades. God, man. Dude, the eruption would have just... Would have just ended it. Would have just ended that chair. Would have been lovely. EP's flying out here. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Um. Hmm. What do I think he's going for? You know, like, Blades is just the option, right? Do we swap? Uh. Or do we just go for an eruption and say maybe he doesn't go for it? I think I go for an eruption, but I'm, I'm gonna say maybe he doesn't go for Blades. Or do I protect and see what he does? No, I, I I say he doesn't go for blades. 
I think I'm in my head now. <laughs> this should stop. I think I'm in my head now. But I'm gonna say he doesn't go for blades. Knowing that we already made this turn before. And it's like deja vu. Let's see what he does here. Is he gonna drop blades? Does not drop blades. Does not drop blades. That still takes out my Lando though. Should have stayed in. It should have stayed in. Solar blades coming through here. I think solar blading. Okay, so eruption can still do a good amount of damage here. We have Incineroar. This one's gonna be close. Solar blades gonna fly through. E. Oh my lord, dude! I love that move. It's gonna neglect a lot of my eruption damage, but so I think it still should do a huge chunk of these guys. But not enough. But not enough, man. Not enough. Incineroar's gonna have to fly through here. This is still a really good battle. A really, really good battle. Okay, uh... La 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 la. What do I do? What does Jeans do here? We get off the Intimidate, which is huge. Might swap to Ground Hug. Imagine if I would've, if I would've kept in Incineroar that turn. It would've been heat. But, uh... We go for another Eruption. Go for Flamethrower. What's the plan here? Let's go for a Flamethrower into the slot. I thought it would take out, so I think Fake Out is an absolute must here. Just to slowly chip away some damage. I, I think this is a turn here. Even if he protects, I still think it's a turn just to Fake Out on the ground on. And finish off the Cherim. He's gonna protect. He might double protect. Is he double protecting? Let's see. He does. He double protects. Oh, dude, what a great battle. What a great battle. Okay. Um. So he's sitting here. I think 100% bleeds is his call. And I think that's GG's. I mean, he is minus. He is minus a lot. Minus two, right? He's minus two. Wait, right? Wait, let me check. No, oh, he's only minus one. E. Ah! Don't like it. Don't like it. Uh, in this case... In this case, let's go Flamethrower Flare Blitz, I guess. I think this is our call. Mmm. It's coming down here. Blade's flying. He misses somebody. Incineroar dodges. Yo, Torkoal, E. All day, baby. All day, Torkoal. Mmm. Mmm. Groundhog's just too good. He's just too good. But yeah, solid battle. We, we're definitely gonna end up losing this one. Solar Blade's gonna fight through here. He's absorbing the light. He's absorbing the light. Our Incineroar is gonna be able to take out Groudon, but it's just over for me. It's just over. Unless a Snarl can pick up a KO, but I, I just don't, I don't see that happening. Let's see. Let's see how this one plays out. Here's this. He's gonna be able to fake me out next turn. You're gone, Groudon. Get out of my game. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. I'm still gonna. I'm still gonna try to win this one. There might be a slight chance, but mm, it's, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. We do have the salt mess, but Incineroar is a physical attacker, and he's gonna get an intimidate on me as well. He's gonna pull him out here. Dang it, man. Unless we get crits or something like that. If crits start flying, there's a chance. I just don't see. I just don't see what's called taking that out. I just don't see a snarl taking that out, right? I mean, maybe? Maybe it does? I mean, I think we have to go for it. I think that's like our, our, our best bet is it if this snarl can take out. But he's going to fake me out here. There it is. And Cherim's going to start teeing off on me. Too. That's a. What a. Yo, dude, that thing did a ridiculous amount of damage. The absorbing the light. That's G. That's G. Because uh, Cherim's going to be able to ask me anyway. But yo, solid set of battles today. I really do think they were solid set of battles. Like I said, we lost that first one. We were able to set up Trick Room very, very well. The second battle, we dominated and absolutely crushed it. And then this third and final battle, we missed our sleep powder and we were in a hole from the beginning. So, losing record. We haven't had a losing record in a while, so. I dig it. I do dig it. But I'm still going to go for the storm. Let me get off first shot. Maybe he can miss an attack and we get a crit. Something along those lines. Some miracle happened. You never know. Let's see. Let's see what this guy has. I mean, Charm hasn't used any other move besides Solar Blitz, so maybe, maybe he only has Solar Blitz. Nah, it definitely has to have something else. Definitely gotta be rocking out with something else. But, dude, we legit lost. Like, this battle was a cakewalk if our sleep powder lands. It was an absolute cakewalk. Make a move, dude. He outspeeds me anyway with this anymore. Okay. That's G's. I mean, it's not very effective. Can we eat? Probably not. Yeah, no shot. No shot. GG's. One and two for today's video. Not bad. Absolutely love the team overall, though.
This trick room right here was definitely one of my favorites here. Definitely more enjoyable than most considering you have the Trevenant, which is a little bit off meta. And then it also features the Venusaur and Torkoal drop combo. Like I said, we went one and two for today's video, grabbed ourselves a losing record, but all around had some fun and had some great battles for you guys. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.